Welcome back, my vibrant beauties, where beauty becomes vibrant, health is wealth, and your lifestyle is the right style. I'm your host, Letty. I'm your host, Letty. I'm your girl, Letty. And today, on this Pinterest uh, episode, episode two of the Pinterest series, is going to be this look right here. Um, I got it from, I'm actually going to show you, hers is a lot she has a lot more lid space, but I think I did good with my lid space. I really do. I think I did good with my lid space. Um, but this is this was my inspiration. This was my inspiration right here. Yeah. And I did that for darker skin tones. So if you want to know how to get this look, Please stay tuned. So this might be a little bit too ambitious in this Pinterest uh, series episode 2 look. But I want to do this. Turn it to the side maybe. There we go. This beautiful look um, that I got off of the Pinterest board. But first, I'm going to do my base. And I'm actually going to use new products. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Super Stay, 24 hour Super Stay, full coverage and um, 356 warm coconut. I used this earlier. Yeah, and I'm going to use the, the Master Prime and the Baby Skin. I'm actually going to go in with both of these first. Master Prime Blur and Pore Minimizing base that I put on first and then I'm going to go in with the Baby Skin and just go in my T-Zone. I'm going to get this side of my hair out of the way and like always I'm going to go in with my Jouer High Coverage liquid concealer in the shade amber and basically color correct having a major breakout because yeah it's that time of the month so I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Cash Expunge and I'm just gonna blend that out Once that is done, I'm gonna spray, ooh, hold on. Gonna put some of this on the back of my hand and go in with my JH03 brush and do my foundation. to go over that with my sponge I'm going to go back in with my Jouer and um, Amber and do the same thing I did <laughs> go right under and that's just going right under my eyes going to blend that out with my BH Cosmetics brush, but it doesn't have, it's like a little dome brush. It doesn't have a number on it. Gonna go in with the color Coffee and highlight. going to use my Sonia Cash Expunge.
Going to go in with my Fit Me powder in 330 and go under my eyes with the the little powder puff that was in the under it and set my under eye. Going to go in with the Morphe contour stick dimension effect in effect number 18 put a little bit on the back of my hand and work that in with my jh04 brush and contour my face so this lightly to go in with a smaller brush and contour my nose using the same effects 18 just whatever is left on my hands so we're going to set the rest of my face with the fit me matte and poreless foundation powder in nutmeg this color right here and I'm going to use the other side of the sponge to set the rest of my face. I'm going to take my oldie but goodie, goodie, <laughs> my oldie but goodie hula toasted bronzer by benefit and yeah go over my contour So I can do my um, eyes. I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in yellow. And go up under my eyes and bake. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk sponge for that. Cleaning up the sides a little bit. Going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Now that I have my eyebrows on and I cleaned them up with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20, I'm going to go in with a eye primer and I'm going to use the ABH. Um, eye primer and pat this all over my lid now that that is on for my first eye look, I'm going to go in with, I'm gonna go with the James Charles palette, an oldie, and go into the color Escape, which is the purple color right here. And go straight into my crease with a, a transition brush by Melt Cosmetics and just pat that into the crease.
actually going to go in with the pencil brush by Melt. Then with a little bit on a Morphe M454 brush, I'm going to take that and blend out the edges. Then to blend in between, I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Volume 2 palette and go in with, oh hello, which is this color right here, on the same brush and go right above that color. Then going to go in with My Man, which is this color right here, on the same brush and go right above that color. <laughs> And go back into that oh hello color and blend go back into my man and blend gonna go into filling myself a little bit yeah gonna go in a little bit into crazy which is this color right here and go over that purple a little. To deepen it up. You see how that deepened that up? Exactly how I want it. Y'all. I'm living. I'm living. I think it can be a little bit more orange, so I'm going to go in with an M23213 brush. Yeah. And take filling myself, which is this color right here, and go along the edges because I feel like she it's a little bit more orange there. Like. Yeah. I'm gonna go back into the James Charles palette and go back to that purple, which is Escape, and deepen the outer corner. going to cut my crease with the ABH primer going to take a the brush I use for my concealer and to clean my, up my brow which is the M224 brush and cut my crease I'm also going to use another brush as well now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush which is the M421 brush and that's this brush right here and finish cutting the crease Blending out with no extra product on my brush. 
Then I'm going to take another M421 brush, like this, and go in with, no joke, this yellow right here, and start from the inner corner of my eye. Going in with feeling myself. Feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling my. I'm putting in between. Looks like she has a little bit of black, so I'm gonna go like right here with the Temptress Black in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Then go in with Not My Journey to blend it out on the edge. She has a lot more lid space than I do though. And then I'm gonna go in with the M562 brush and deepen up with Crazy right here and it looks like she has a little bit of space in between the cut crease and the colors on the lid so I'm gonna take my Morphe M2 50-0 brush which is this little itty bitty skinny brush and do that with because I feel like this is a lot more precise. Like it's a lot more skinny, skinty. See? Yeah. So I'm going to set that with Perfectionist, this color right here in the palette. And then take no joke and go right there. Then take onto the James Charles Morphe palette and take the color Social Blade, which is this color right here, and go next to the yellow. Then on that same brush, I'm gonna take the color Playground, which is this blue, and go right next to that. Going back in with that green. Then I'm gonna bring it down a little. I'm just switching in between colors right now. Then I'm gonna take that purple shade, the escape shade that we used and place it on the outer. Hers looks like it's really black though. So, 
I'm going to go into Spooky, the black in the James Shaw palette, and just deepen that up. Then I'm going to go back in with no joke because I feel like I lost a little bit of the color. It looks like she has a very thin line of black. So I'm gonna just line as close to the lash line as I can get. And actually, take that in here. Going to do the other eye off camera, pop on my lashes, and then I'll be back. Go in with my JH06 brush and take Max, both, I want to say raisin, and I think this is, I'll put it down below, but. Mix those two together, these two right here. Those are my blush. Take my Kush Mascara by Milk. Lashes are now tacky. I'm using the Lily Lashes in Barcelona. I'm gonna look down. And then I'm going to go in with my Milani, um, a more matte lip cream in the shade Precious. I'm gonna take my Morphe. Morphe Trendsetter color pencil. I'm gonna spray my face with Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Going to highlight my face with Ofra highlighter in Sahara Dawn, which is this color right here, and use my Morphe M541 brush. Highlight my face. And lastly, do my lower lash line of mascara. This is the final look. Let me know what you think. This is Pinterest looks for dark skin. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And with that being said, I'm Letty and I'm out.